In the Singer-Nicholson model, proteins are considered to float in the fluid bilayer like icebergs in the sea. Some, according to the model, penetrate entirely through the membrane and are exposed on both sides, and some penetrate only part way and are exposed on one side only. The distribution of proteins in membranes in dispersed units rather than as continuous sheets entirely covering the membrane surfaces provides the mosaic part of the fluid mosaic model. Singer and Nicholson define two major classes of membrane proteins according to their relative solubility in membranes. Proteins of one class, termed integral or intrinsic proteins, are deeply embedded in the bilayer and held in place by extensive hydrophobic interactions with the fatty acid chains of membrane phospholipids. These proteins can be removed from membranes only by treatments that disperse the bilayer, such as the use of detergents or hydrophobic solvents. Integral proteins make up about 70 to 80 percent of the total proteins of most cellular membranes. The second class of membrane proteins, called peripheral or extrinsic proteins, can be removed by relatively mild treatments, such as adjustments of the salt concentration or acidity of the watery medium around the membranes. Singer has proposed that peripheral proteins bind at the membrane surface only to the exposed hydrophilic portions of integral membrane proteins in a protein-protein interaction. Others have considered that peripheral proteins may also bind to the hydrophilic groups of membrane phospholipids.